Hey guys! So folks, we're here today to do Delane, Masters of Destiny. I believe this video is from their upcoming album, not Masters of the Universe. By the way, that was a horrible movie with uh, Dolph Lundgren. In case you don't know who that is, it's the same guy who did um, Ivan Drago in Rocky. Oh, okay. Yeah, he did. He was He-Man. Can you imagine that guy with, with his with his uh, accent? I don't know where he's from. I'm assuming he's like Austrian or Russian yeah. or something. Um, He-Man. You know, it'd be like Arnold Schwarzenegger being oh, I am He-Man. <laughs> oh, that I was good. The master of the universe. <laughs> put the cookie down. Put the cookie down. Help yeah. me. Skeletor, put the cookie. Oh, yeah. Skeletor, put the cookie down. <laughs> I am the master of the universe. <sighs> you know, this video was worth doing just for that. Believe it or not, just for that. All right, so the Lane Masters of Destiny, brand new video. This came out with the... This came out in that big... It's like the Napalm Records logo. Yeah, but they, there's nobody there jerking well, off yeah, and but... doing that. Well, now that would be a great intro. <laughs> like, guy, the people at Napalm... The, the, by the way, this is a Napalm Records video. So the folks at Napalm, if you guys are thinking of a new intro no, instead of that explosion, no. hire me. I'll, I'll show up and I'll do this. Uh, no, not physically. No, do it. no like, like, just with my hand. Like, oh, that didn't sound good either. I mean, <laughs> doesn't matter how hard... You're, you're, you're digging your heart. All right, let's do this video right now. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. By the way, I love the smell of napalm in the morning.
<laughs> I'm gonna do the rest of the video like this. Uh, who are you kidding? You're not gonna do it. Can you say something? Because right now I'm... It looks like I'm feeling myself. <laughs> yes, that's not the case. That's not the case. has got to be one of the greatest songs I've heard in a long time. Yeah. I'm not even saying the greatest song I heard today because that's that goes without saying. This is without a doubt the greatest song I heard today. But I'm going to say this is the greatest song I've heard in a very, very long time. I mean, it's absolutely... Her voice is absolutely oh, amazing, God. but the chorus is just... And when it gets bumped, there's a, a certain parts of the song, like cer certain parts get stripped down, and it's pretty much just, she carries the song with her voice alone. Yeah, because her voice has so much melody. It's, her voice is it's absolutely, just... by the way, I'm going to see them, they're coming to Toronto on, on a tour, but it's not all ages, so too bad. Just so sad. So I'm going to go see them. Um, now I don't even remember who's on that tour with them anymore. Well, it uh, doesn't matter. But I'm going, I know they're coming on a tour. Her yeah, like, they have a melody that her voice... Actually, I think it's with Amorphous. I think they're coming with Amorphous. Amorphous and Delane. Yeah, I think it's Amorphous. Uh, there's those stripped-down parts, like you said. Her voice carries the song. Yeah. It just has so much melody in it. It just carries the song. And then when the other parts come, the other parts are so, like, gigantic. It's like it's like a movie score. It's like a symphony. Exactly. It felt exactly like, like a movie, like a, a score of a movie, like the soundtrack of a big movie and a big scene, like when the Titanic is crashing and Jack is, is asking her to hold his hand or, or whatever. I can't remember the movie anyways. But people died. The boat sunk. That's all we need to know. Yeah. It's one of those movies that you go in knowing exactly how oh, it's going to finish. Spoiler alert to the people who haven't watched Come on, Titanic. How, who doesn't know how the Titanic movie ends? It's, it's like... It's like watching the Ten Commandments, not knowing how the movie goes. I mean, everybody knows those movies. Uh, it's not like there's a plot twist at the end and the boat floats. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it, it doesn't happen. Uh, that part, after after the more stripped down part, when, when the more bombastic part of the song kicks in, the, the, the more symphonic part of the yeah. song kicks in, it's like a movie score. It's like, if you take her voice out of that, it could be something like out of Star Wars, Star Trek, like at a big scene, like a... Something building up to that crescendo, building up to that climax of a movie. It has that. It has those ingredients that make the song like larger than life. Like, yeah. like you can almost you can almost imagine a, a, an orchestra playing that song in front of you as you're watching, uh, you know, a movie. As you're watching Spartacus fights or something, or like you know, one of those epic yeah. cliffhanger moments, like those climactic moments of a movie. Absolutely, like, holy shit of a track, man. Seriously. Oh fuck! Absolutely. I'm. I'm. What's there to say? It's absolutely incredible. Incredible yeah. track. Absolutely incredible. So well put together. It has a great momentum to the song. The song is not linear at all. The song. It, it, it has a nice Evan flows to it. it. It has those bombastic moments. Then it comes down to the more stripped down, oh, yeah. where her voice is really the component that carries the song. Then it gets it gets grandier again. Then with the guitar solo, oh my god, this song is just mic drop. Yeah, as far as I'm concerned, mic drop of a song, incredible. Anyways, what are you looking at me with that face? I just what, what else I can say? I'm, I mean, I'm so. Like this song is incredible. I I'm serious. It's absolutely incredible. <sighs> I, I, I just I, read. I don't think like, I, I don't think I want to listen to music the rest of the day just because there's nothing that's gonna top this. And anything you listen to it now, specifically within this genre, anything you're gonna listen to it now, it's gonna pale in comparison to how good this yeah. song is. Nothing is gonna be as good. You know what I mean? Uh, Why don't they play this music when I'm getting a massage? Yeah. That would make things a lot... I mean, not that massage is not good, but it would make the massage even better. Like when she's hitting those 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 tough spots, like with her elbow. 
the, the thing is, when you listen to music, uh, you also sing. So like. Oh well, shit! Yeah, maybe this is not a great song for a massage. Yeah. But, yeah. Maybe that's. Because then she's gonna do it even more. Just because she's not even a oh, massage. Oh, you think she's for... singing? Well, she do, or I'm singing while she. No, singing. you're singing. Either way, it's not gonna be good. No, no. All right. Anyways, let's not talk about that. Let's move on because this song is. <sighs> All right, guys. This is it for today. I mean, there's no way we could do a double header no. today. Because after listening to this uh, song... We would have to do this song next, but then... We, this song had to be the last song of the doubleheader. Yeah. Once you listen to this song, you cannot sit down and watch another video after this. It's, it's, it's physically and humanly impossible to do so without then comparing whatever that song is to this one. Yeah, and say how song, much shit the other one is compared is, to this one. Because the thing is... Like, this song ruins everything that comes after. That song could have been like the best song, but... It, We're still going to say it's shit compared to this one. Yeah. Exactly. All right, guys, come back tomorrow. It won't be, there won't be any delaying, but there'll be something tomorrow. Something perhaps not as good as this. Let's face the facts. It's going to, it's going to be hard to, it's going to be hard to top this, to top this for, yeah. for a little while. All right, guys, come back tomorrow. See ya. See ya.